Hello there. Uh, this is Jana Kellum, and I'm the creator and founder of the Everlasting Love Club. And um, I'm back today. I'm feeling physically awesome. So, um, so now I can talk to you live on video without sounding kind of ridiculous like I did last week. Um, so today I want to talk to you a little bit about um, a subject that is, is near and dear to my heart. And, and I call this video um, how to deal with someone else's problems. And um, very often, especially for those of us who are um, caring, compassionate, loving people, when you are with someone, um, whether it's a partner or a family member or a friend who um, is having some sort of problem in their life, your instinct is to jump in and try to help them fix it, right? Give them advice or... Um, or actually, like, go do something to try to solve their problem for them. Um, here's the problem with that. It, um, first of all, it doesn't work. Um, second of all, it's, it's kind of disempowering. And third of all, it makes the person that you're doing that for, um, or to, I should probably say, feel like, um, uh, like, they can't, like they can't do it and, like, you don't really believe in them. And... Um, and ultimately, at the end of the day, it, it just kind of um, feels like you're not being heard when, when you have someone who jumps in to try to fix something um, instead of doing what I'm going to suggest that you try instead. So um, the next time somebody that you are close with um, has a problem, or anyone around you has some sort of a problem, try this instead. acknowledge, right? And say, you could even say, if you feel like you must say something instead of just sitting and listening, um, you can say, that sounds like you're having a really hard time with that, or it seems like a really difficult situation, or um, I can tell that's really upsetting for you, or something along those lines. Um, holding space for and allowing them to feel whatever sort of emotion it is that they're having, and you are acknowledging, and that's it. You're not acknowledging and then like, here, let me jump in and fix it for you. You're just acknowledging. You're, you're giving them um, your attention and your presence. And there is something that is so simple about that and yet it's so difficult to do when you're, when you're in a situation. Like let's say your partner um, uh, is, has had just a, a horrible day at work. Their boss is <laughs> treating them like crap. And they come home and throw their stuff on the ground and they're like, ah, my boss is being such a, you know, beep. And um, instead of immediately jumping in and being like, man, your boss sucks or like, let me talk to him or whatever, um, you can just allow for like, whoa, that's, you know, yikes, that sounds like a really hard day. Um, and then be quiet and just let them share, let them express. Sometimes getting things off of your chest um, is, is the most important thing about um, an issue. So, um, so the only time that um, I think it really works well to um, come to someone's aid to try to fix something for someone is in this case. If that person says to you, please help me fix this. <laughs> um, in that case, that's a, a little bit of a different story, but that very often doesn't happen. Usually when someone is sharing something with you um, about an issue that they're having, it's because they just want to talk about it. Um, they they want to maybe get other perspectives, but usually it's just that they need to kind of get that stuff that's been inside of them out. So let them do that, hold that space for them. And um, I would love to hear what what this looks like for you and your relationships. If you have trouble with um, not wanting to to immediately leap to um, to someone's aid, um, and if you have a situation that comes up today where someone is sharing something with you about an issue that they're having, um, give this a try. Just see if if acknowledging instead of jumping in to fix. Um, might be really uh, transformative in terms of the, the depth of the connection and the health and the authenticity of that relationship. 
So I hope that this has been helpful for you, and I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your week, and I will see you next time. Oh, and before I forget, be sure to subscribe um, to my live feed, wherever, whatever side that's on, so that you don't miss any of these, and um, I'll probably start doing um, more and more of these where uh, I'll let you know ahead of time that I'm coming on live so that you can ask questions or, um, you know, give comments while I'm talking. So uh, look forward to that. And again, have a great week. I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.